Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, this weekend, two teenagers, Jody Chesney and Yusuf Ghalib Maki, were stabbed to death. I'm sure I speak for the whole House when I express my deepest condolences to their families and their loved ones. Two young lives tragically lost. They are the latest victims in a cycle of senseless violence that is robbing young people of their lives right across this country. There is no hiding from this issue, Mr. Speaker. Serious violence is on the rise. Communities are being torn apart and families are losing their children. Last year, 726 people were murdered in the UK, 285 of those with a knife or bladed weapon. That's the highest, since levels, uh, the highest level since records began. Mr Speaker, after the horror of this weekend, I welcome the chance to come to this House and address this issue. We all wish that there was one thing just one that we could do to stop this violence. But there are no shortcuts. There is no one single solution. Tackling serious violence requires coordinated action on multiple fronts. First, we need a strong law enforcement response. This includes the Offensive Weapons Bill currently before Parliament that will introduce new offences to help tackle knife crime. We also need to give police the confidence to use existing laws such as stop and search. Second, we must intervene early to stop young people from becoming involved in crime. We have amended the bill to introduce knife crime prevention orders, which will help prevent young people from carrying knives. And alongside our £200 million youth endowment fund, the £22 million early intervention youth fund has already funded 29 projects endorsed by police and crime commissioners. Third, we must ensure that the police have the resources to combat serious violence. I am raising police funding to record levels next year, up to £970 million more, including council tax. And on Wednesday, I will meet with chief constables to listen to their experiences and requirements. Fourth, we must be clear on how changing patterns of drug misuse are fueling the rise in violent crime. I launched the Independent Drugs Misuse Review under Dame Carol Black in response to this. And fifth, we need all parts all parts of the public sector to prioritise tackling serious violence, and that is why I will very shortly be launching a consultation on a new statutory duty, a statutory public health duty to combat violent crime and to help protect young people. Mr Speaker, we must all acknowledge that this is an issue that transcends party lines. Politics can be divisive, but if there was ever an issue to unite our efforts and inspire us to stand together, then surely this is it.